So I have, brother, I have several girls. I have a 17 year old, 18 year old, 14 year old, and mashallah, tabarakallah, they go to Ma'had al Hidayah. And mashallah, tabarakallah, they're learning the religion. But we had debate, recently we had debate. About? The debate, brother, we think is right now, brother, they wear the full hijab, the full jalbab. Okay. One of them said, Mom, it, it's okay. Is it okay to wear this scarf? Is it okay to wear this scarf? An abaya, black abaya, and a scarf. The scarf means the one you tie with your head. And it doesn't go to your shoulder or back. Well, the hijab must have, Sister Ferdousa, certain conditions that must be fulfilled to be called a hijab. Okay. Number one, it must cover the entire mm -hmm. body, except the hands and the face. It has to be baggy. It cannot see through. It cannot mimic the non-Muslims. It cannot print out the body parts. It cannot be scented. It cannot resemble the non-Muslims clothes. So if it meets all these conditions, then this is a good hijab. If any of these conditions are missing, then this is not a valid hijab. So yeah. your, your daughters uh, need to understand that. You know, they, we can compromise any of these conditions for us to have a valid hijab, dear sister. Yes. yes Jazakallah khairan. The one they're asking, basically, it's like a full dress. It's a dress. And they will wear this car. The car cover it till the elbow. Until the elbow. Nope. You see, only the hands, the palms here, and the face. Other than that, is not allowed. It's not a hijab. Missing a condition, that is not a hijab, dear sister. Jazakallah khairan, sister Firdausa. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.